In this presentation, we will process payroll, which will include a year-end bonus within QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. We are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, you go to the view dropdown and the open windows list. We're not going to be processing payroll. This will be the last payroll for our payroll processing in this problem. We're going to go down to the employee section and pay employees. We're going to enter the data into the paid payroll. So if you're using the manual version, just as practice, the next screen should look familiar. We're going to go to the pay employees here and then we'll get into our pay employees screen. We're going to add the last payroll and note that the last payroll, oftentimes the owner of the corporation or the S corporation in this case, or the owner of the business wants to do some year in planning for to know what that last payroll should be, possibly for retirement plan types of benefits that could be affected by the payroll, possibly because, for example, in this case, an S corporation, if it's an owner of an S corporation, then they may need to recognize some portion of payroll and make any adjustments to make sure that they're recognizing enough payroll in the S corporation as wages to pay Social Security and Medicare. So there's different reasons why there might be adjustments at the end of the year for the bonus, often tax uh, reasons for them. What we're going to do here is process the payroll at the end of the year as we normally do, 1231-18. But we're going to make sure actually to this time process the paycheck before the year end as well. And that's because if we process it after year end, the payroll being on a cash basis method, typically at least for the payroll reporting, will report the payroll in the next year, even though the work will be done in this year. So we've seen that difference, uh, that timing difference a few times now. When considering the last year payroll and considering the bonus for it, it may be a consideration we need to make and say, hey, do we really need, do we need to run the last payroll in the current pay period to make sure that we're getting whatever we need done with the bonus calculation that we are adding to it? So then we're going to go ahead. So that's major difference here. We're going to, we're going to keep this paycheck in the same year. Then we're going to check the two employees off. We're going to select these items, select these employees and see what we have for them. Here's Anthony Moore. We're going to keep Anthony Moore much the same. No bonus here. So Anthony is going to have the hourly pay, the, the uh, overtime pay, the employee, employee portion of the 401k, the dental, the vision, the union, the wage garnishment, the medical uh, for the employee, the federal income tax withheld, the social security and Medicare state withholdings and disability net check 2898.55. And then we have the employer items on this side as well. Same as prior paychecks. We're going to say save and next. Take a look at Judy Jones. Now, Judy Jones is the owner. And we're going to say that there's going to be a bonus here for the owner. And there could be, again, multiple reasons. One might be that Judy Jones needs to recognize the income for the S corporation. And she started basically processing this at the end of the year and or, like we say, the retirement contributions. But... In order to just see the calculations in the system, we're going to add a large bonus here. So we're going to say bonus, and we're going to we're going to enter the bonus at two hundred thousand. So we're going to add the bonus so that we can see. And the, this is one of the reasons we want to enter a large bonus here is because you'll note this. I'm going to read through this. You may notice that the amount of one or more taxes on this paycheck either smaller than usual or zero. This is because Judy Jones has reached the annual wage limits for each of the taxes. The Social Security limit for 2018 was 128400 So now she's making over that and therefore there's going to be a cap at that 128400 we also have the California disability. We're going to focus mainly here on the federal taxes. Uh, so the Social Security is what we're looking for to see that cap being reached. We can then see here that the salary is going to be here and the bonus will be here in the gross pay. We got the 401k for the employee being deducted, the medical employee being taken out of the paycheck. Then the federal withholding is going to be affected by the bonus that's being included. And it may be a little bit different. It's going to be calculated for us by QuickBooks within the paid payroll, but it may use something different than just the tables or the standard setup for calculating. In other words, there might be different rules that are being used to govern the calculation of the federal withholding 
with regard to the bonus. And that's also something we may want to do some added planning to see if that bonus is going to cause more withholdings that we should be allocating or giving to the employee given the individual's circumstances on their own 1040 forms. So those are just considerations to take into consideration with the bonus. We're going to keep the calculation that has been calculated by the system for the federal withholdings. That is a complex calculation that will need tables in order to do so and we're relying here on QuickBooks to help us out with that progressive calculation. The Social Security note that the cap has been reached. So at this point in time, we're not just taking the total payroll, which would be the 200,000 plus, plus the 41666.67 times 0.062, the employee portion. It's going to be far less because they hit the cap. And that only happens with high earners for Social Security because we noticed that the cap was, was a fairly high cap that we had on the Social Security. I believe it was 128400 So if we were to, to look at the calculation here, we had then the 128400 minus, whoop, let's do that one more time, 128400 minus last time's pay period, last time's payroll, 41666.67, means that 8768 six seven thirty three thirty three would be included in this pay period before the cap was reached times 0 0.062 would give us this five three seven seven so only a portion of the total gross pay is going to be calculated for that tax on the other hand there is no cap for medicare so medicare will be the the full two hundred thousand plus the four one six 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 point six seven times 0 0.0145 and that's going to be the 3504 then we have the california withholdings and the disability then we have the social security for the employer portion matching as well as the medicare we no longer have the futa and the suta federal unemployment and state unemployment because this employee met that in the prior paycheck their first paycheck uh, futa and suta those having low caps being met already we're going to go ahead and save and close this. And everything looks okay. We got it in the, this, this year, which is what we wanted to do. So we're going to continue and create the paycheck. We're going to say, I understand with this one here. There, and we're going to say, let's take a look at the pay stubs and preview the pay stubs. So here. Here's what we have for Judy Jones. We got the 41666, the normal pay, then the bonus, the 200,000, giving us the 241666.67. Two paychecks have happened so far, so the year to date is on the right, the year to date numbers. We've got the deductions from gross pay being the 401k for the employee. And then we have the taxes. And then on this side, we have the taxable company items. That is the S Corporation Medical Insurance, the non-tax company items, the 401k for the match, those being part of or not included over and above, those being amounts over and above, paid by the company not included in the gross pay. Then we have Anthony here, and the paycheck was much the same for Anthony. Anthony has the current pay period information, the deductions from gross pay being the 401k and the vision, the taxes then, the adjustments to net pay, these being items that are going to be taken out of the paycheck but not affecting the payroll calculations for taxes. Then we've got the sick pay, the taxable company items, and the non-tax company items. We're going to close this out. We're going to close this out. We're going to close this out and finally close this out. And then we'll take a look at our register. Go into the banking drop-down. Go into the use register. We'll say OK. And then here are our two paychecks, Judy and Anthony. If we double, if we click on either of these items, we'll look at Judy has the bonus here, of course. Pay detail, here is the detail for Judy. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.